what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel we're gonna be doing something a little bit different you guys know what that is is an upper oil pan and unfortunately when you do an upper oil pan that means the transmission is out and sometimes you might have to replace your rear crank seal you've seen me do it before at the dealer we're no longer at the dealer and now we got to get that crank seal out however you're going to get it out i'm going to show you a different way for you to remove it when you're at home all right guys let's check it out All right, everybody, thanks so much for coming back and checking us out. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe, 6-7-2011 through current model year. You may have to replace your rear crank seal. Not that it is a common part that is leaking, but like I showed you in the very beginning, when you do an upper oil pan on these or on these, you may have to replace your rear crank seal. I'm gonna put a link in the description showing you how I replaced the crank seal before being at the dealer using the special tool that they have provided. We are no longer at that institution anymore. Now I'm gonna show you how to remove that crank seal a different way using maybe some tools that you have around the house or uh, simply you could pick up at Harbor Freight. I'll see if I can put a link in the description for this particular slide hammer and uh we'll see if we can get this seal out all right let's go downstairs wow what a freaking monster so glad it wasn't four by four all right there's the 20 piece drive shaft extra long all right let's go we'll go underneath the shaft oh not gonna fit oh wow dude's straight up Standing up. We don't have no knee kneeling. He's standing up. And this thing's on the ground. Wow, that's whack. We are using a small slide hammer and a screw in the end of that slide hammer. And what you're trying to accomplish is screwing that screw into the seal between the crank and the front cover. See that hole? See the? See the strange? He's gonna try to get another bite right here on the other side. You can go right in the middle and not scratch the crank or the rear cover. I may have said front cover before. I meant rear cover. Oh. Okay, I saw it budge. Yeah, that was a little bit. I saw it budge right there. All right, we're gonna try try another hole here. The kind of slide hammer you're going to use is going to depict what kind of screw you're going to use. Sometimes they have an M that you can screw on the end of the slide hammer. Oh, you got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Willie. Had to smack my damn self. Check it out. Look at that. No special tool. Totally achieved the exact same thing. And one thing I might note, uh, using the light on his head, you are gonna have to move back that crank sensor. There's an eight milli bolt right there. You can see the head of it. You just gotta back that out a little bit right there. And then you can slide the sensor directly to the driver's side. You don't have to move it all the way out, just loosen it. Now we're gonna clean that up and I'm gonna show you how to put it in without using a special tool. All right, new crank seal, BC3Z 6701A. This is it right here. No special tool. All right, we'll follow along because we're not gonna hand it over to the installer. Safety first, but I just realized as I got down, must've been selling hot dogs for quite some time. My fly was down. Okay, crank seal. Setting up just like that. Let's get some illumination on here on the bottom side. Just putting that plastic applicator over the crank. 
so you could slide the seal right off. And then all we're gonna do is take a quarter drive extension, kind of where we were screwing in to the seal to remove it. We're gonna follow this all the way around and just lightly tap, lightly tap it in. Kind of giving a little feel with the fingers, checking the depth. And you'll know once it bottoms out, because it'll, I mean, it's not gonna move anymore. It's just going across the little. See, that's in. That's, that's in all the way. Maybe go around one more time. We're gonna let the silicone cure, and then we'll come back with a razor blade and chop the silicone off. See what he was doing? He was going around that seal lip and put the end of the extension right in there. Looks like it's sitting in there flush. Almost. There you go. special tool all that does is just pushing it all in at the same time all the way around the circumference we're achieving the same thing but we're just doing it at various different points obviously with the extension so anybody that has got to try to do this without the special tool it's not the end of the world you still can get the seal out and you still can get it put back in going to take a little bit of quarter drive extension persuasion let me know if this video helped you guys out if you guys have ever had to put a crank seal in without having the special tool in hey this might work it might not the majority of the time it does it just matters who is installing it tell me what you guys think about this in the video in the comment section and if importantly if you've ever had to do this i want to know what your tips and tricks were if you don't have the special tool thanks so much for watching remember to like comment sub share and we are taking donations of brake clean uh preferably the cyclo if you guys got them but brake clean we're going through it like water we'll see you guys later